this on a Tuesday. So glad to have you on board. A thought or two I will share with you today, sowing some seed into your heart that I pray, I pray that it will motivate you. It will inspire you. And maybe, just maybe every now and then, it'll throw some correction upon you to help you to stay focused in those areas of your life where you're running short in, all right? Nothing wrong with a little correction. I've often said if, if your pastor, your preacher, your teacher, whatever you call him, if he doesn't preach the gospel, all right, that not only encourages or inspires, but also corrects you, then something's wrong with him. God's word will offend your flesh. God's word will offend you sometimes. And do not get aggravated, upset, or mad when somebody loves you enough to put correction on you. Those are the ones you want to sit under, all right? Not the back, back patters and the ones that tickle your fancy, but someone that'll tell the truth because it's truth that sets you free. That's not in the book. Well, it may be somewhere in here, but let's get into what I'm going to do. There are several thoughts to ponder, really just a sentence in a couple of them for sure, maybe more than that. And I just want to look at those today. Here we go. The choices we make today will bear fruit in the future. Oh, woo. let's read that again. The choices we make today will bear fruit in the future. You put a seed in the ground, that seed does not grow to maturity at the end of the day. It has a period of time that it takes before it comes up out of that ground, grows to its full maturity, and then starts to produce. All right? So we need to understand what we're doing now will be discovered in our future. It will be known. That's why I tell people, be careful how you talk and the words you say, because the seed you sow today will produce tomorrow bad seed, bad fruit. So be careful. Here we go again. Faith is not knowing where, when, or how. It's just knowing. <laughs> it's just knowing. All right. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. In other words, you've been in that book. You've studied the word of God. Your faith has been built and you just know. You know that you know. I've always said, if my knower knows, you're not going to shake me. Because my knower knows what it knows, founded off of God's word. So we need to get that. <clears throat> Believing in something isn't good enough. There are many people who believe in prayer. They believe in worship. They believe in righteousness and faithfulness and so on and so on. But believing in and practicing are two different things. Without the practice of your beliefs, you will not receive their benefits. Now, you need to ponder on that one. You're wondering why there's so many problems and you're wondering why there's so much trouble and you're going through so many rough times. Just maybe you need to evaluate whether you're practicing what you're preaching. Practice your beliefs. And you will, without doubt, receive the full benefits of them. God bless you. Ponder, ponder on those simple thoughts. I think the outcome will amaze you and bless you. Until tomorrow, Pastor John Rose saying, hey, it's a privilege to do this each day. God bless you.